Hello, uh, this is Juan Lince from JM Lince Computers. Um, today I want to show you um, how to get the drivers for this Samsung tablet. This is actually an ATIV Tab 5. Uh, the, the model number is the XE500 TIC and then A04US but actually I believe for, for all of them uh, they, use, uh, they use the same drivers so when I installed Windows 10 I did it as a, as a clean installation and for some reason uh, I was not able to get the drivers for either the uh, touch screen so this was not working like you see like you can see now is working also the Wi-Fi it was not uh, installed and I went into the Samsung website and it was not helpful at all so what I had to do is I had to uh, search on Google uh, I also went to YouTube and didn't find anything that helped me that's why uh, I'm doing this video so I went ahead and searched for Google drivers. I found a few websites, but this was the only one that actually helped. I'll leave the link under the description. So if you go to this website, uh, uh, these drivers are for Windows 8 32 bit. So what I installed was Windows 10 32 bit. You cannot install the 64 bit here so so yeah make sure that you uh install your windows uh 10 32 bit and then here uh, you click download on all of these and you'll get this pop-up do not click anywhere on that pop-up just wait for this countdown uh, so it will say that is ready so you just click there and then you see the name of the of the file this is the chipset this one i installed it so you click ok and now it's downloading here so all browsers are a little different but basically you wanna place those on a usb so you can transfer them to your computer so once uh, you have all of those drivers uh, you just put it uh, here on the top and then uh, what I did is I just cut all of those files they are zip files and I place them uh, on my downloads so just to have it like in a, in a good place so if I, if I go here to my downloads uh, there they are I just unzip the uh, chipset and, and run it and also I went ahead uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, where is it the internal VGA the wireless LAN so we do extract all right now it's connected but I'm just going to show you like an example so you click extract And then you click on install here you always want to look like for setup.x or something that says uh, application so in this case is just that so you say yes to it and if your Wi-Fi were not working if you didn't have the drivers you will just install the driver right away so you can connect to the internet so remember these uh, drivers are for Windows 8 so some of them might not work and actually when I installed this one the VGA one internal VGA uh, after I installed that one I started getting blue screen so I had to reset my my computer again uh, when I reset it, uh, it actually kept the good drivers, so I didn't have to do it again. But anyways, I run these two uh, files again, 
So if I go to my device manager, there's I think there's still one driver that's not working right here. Not sure what which one it is, but the first time that I did this, I had three. So what I did to install these drivers, the, the other two, is I first uh, unzip all of those folders. So I had all, all, all of those folders unzipped on my, do, on, my, on my downloads. I went ahead and click on update driver, then browse for drivers in my computer. And then I did check uh, downloads. So, so then I click OK. I make sure to include all subfolders. And the computer did find uh, the, 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 the drivers that were uh, missing. The only one that for some reason it didn't work is this. If you find a way to install it, please leave me a, a comment. That way I know. For now, I think this is good enough for me because I'm able to connect to the internet. Everything seems to be working and also the the touch is working so I can use it as a as a tablet So that's it. I hope uh, this video helped. So remember uh, you can install with no problem the, the chipset and also the the wireless driver but if you install the the VGA the internal VGA then you might run into trouble the same way as I did. So I recommend not to try that one. Uh, I don't know about the, the other ones, but I think you don't need them. So if you like my video, please uh, click th thumbs up. That helps. And if you want to subscribe, yeah, please do so. Thank you.